Well, he had his science class do a study of this map that lasted seven years. The study lasted for seven years. And as they, he started the study, it, they began to look at what ancient maps they could find that will give them a clue to who and where this map comes from and who drew these maps. As they began to search, they began to discover similar maps. By the way, uh, Periris, who put his name on the map, did not draw the, ma draw the map. Right. What they used to, what they used to do is they found maps in all these uh, uh, libraries, archives, uh, and then what they would, they would take it and either number one, they would put their names on them, or they will copy this map and put their names on the map that they copy. Oh. All right. So again, this gives us an idea of what we are looking at. This is a, a, the projection called an equidistant pro uh, projection. Projection means the method, the formula, the standard. What is the standard that you are using? And so you look at those, that standard and you see this is equidistant. Why? You see these uh, circles here? They are equal as you go from one to the other. You, you see, that's why they call it equidistant. That means that you take angles and then you, you, you draw circles and then now using trigonometry, <coughs> spherical trigonometry because what you're gonna do, you, you draw circles. That's why they call it the sphere, spherical because you draw circles then you, you draw the map of the world at equal distance from the center. And when you do that, that's why you see the Earth appears the way it looks here. So that's why it's called equidistant, which means that, first of all, you have to have instrumentations. Right. You know how we draw circles in, in elementary school, right? Mm -hmm. You have to have an instrument. You can draw it by hands, can you? Huh? For you to have correct circles like this, you have to have some instrument. Right. Right. Meaning that these people, the ancestors who drew this map, and I'm going to tell you why I'm calling them the ancestors, they had the same instruments that we are using today to draw this one. Right. Think about that. Right. Not just, not only that they drew the map. The same way we're drawing it today. But you could not draw these maps unless, first of all, you had the knowledge of trigonometry. Right. And not only, by the way, plain trigonometry, no. but you have to understand spherical trigonometry. Once you know that you know spherical trigonometry, now, brothers and sisters, listen to how technology works. You have to invent the instrument that you are going to use to draw the circles. Right. <laughs> you understand? It's not just about knowing right. that I need to draw circles. Right. You have to invent the instrument you are going to need to use for you to draw the circles. Then you have to be able to calculate the angles. You have to have the formula for you to calculate the angles for you there so that when you draw Africa on the map, it looks as real as so that you West Africa, right? You see West Africa? You have to know the mathematical formula for you so that when I draw West Africa here, 
thousands of years before first dynasty Egypt looks the same as Af West Africa looks today on a 21st century map. The process, brothers and sisters, is something that we as a, a, a black people today, we don't really get to, to really grasp. Right. Because we only talk about history and Egyptology, but let's go into technology. What it took for them, for our ancestors, to be able to, for, to map the earth and to draw it on paper so that it looks exactly with these fine details with the little islands where you will find them today if you follow the longitude and the latitude that we can exactly tell today from space right. using satellites. Right. You can't take a boat and go outside of the Hudson River walk around it and draw the Manhattan exactly with exact latitude and exact longitude. You can't do that. Right. You have to know mathematics. You have to have instruments. Right. And then you have to better look at it from, from space, either in, on, in a plane or, 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 or with a satellite. Nothing. Then you can draw Manhattan exactly as it looks when we see it on the, on the, on the subway map. Nothing's new. <laughs> the ancestor did this mm -hmm. thousands of years before the first Egyptian dynasty. Right. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm insisting on that so that we can begin to try to just conceive what we are looking at here. Well, this thousands of years. Well, what what did um, let me show you in the 16th century what the the, real, the European map of the world. <laughs> Fifteen twenty seven of our era, fifteen hundred. Europe had gone through all of their stages. Black people, we have gone, as the officers say, we have we have gone, lost everything that we had in terms of the knowledge of our ancestors in the fifteen hundred. We didn't remember anything anymore. But European is supposed to have been what? Enlightened, remember? Mm -hmm. Beginning with the Greeks in the third century BC. Now this is 1,500 of our era. This is the map of the world. You know why it looks like this? They did not know mathematics of map making. Right. Meaning what? They did not trigonometry. <coughs> We either plain trigonometry, which is much easier, or spherical trigonometry. Number one. Number two, they did not know how to find latitude and longitude. So that's why they, <laughs> this is how they would, they, they would the world is. Do you know what that is? I don't know what that is. <laughs> 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 By the way, let me tell you something else. In 1500, they have not circumnavigated the world. Right, right. Circumnavigate means what? Right. 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 Europeans have not gone around the world yet. What they were doing here, using some of those ancient maps, that their ancestors copied on ancient maps, that their ancestors copied from ancient maps that they stole from our ancestors' maps. Right. Thank you. And then from that, they would draw the world based on what is close to them. And even there, 
look at Italy, it looks like something that I don't know where they got that from. They couldn't even draw Spain correctly, mm. Portugal or France, 